if you are looking for some support for current affairs if you are a fresher you are a working professional you are a repeater but you want some support for current affairs then i have a program for you uh, i have given the uh, brochure and also the uh, announcement video link in the description you can watch if you are interested hello all welcome back to current affairs atlas series i'm guna madivanan from offices ias academy in today's video we are going to discuss about so here Article 105 clause 2 and Article 194 clause 2. You have to have some clarity. So Article 105 clause 2 is for immunities given for MPs, and Article 194 clause 2 is for immunities given for MLAs. Immunity against what? With respect to anything said or any vote given in Parliament or Parliamentary Committee. I am an MP. I speak something. uh inside the parliament inside the parliamentary committee against my speech i cannot be i cannot be uh prosecuted right so i cannot be prosecuted there is immunity constitution provides so that that immunity will make the mps or mla without any fear they can speak what they have in their mind see i am the mp uh, in a youtube channel i say something i say i give an offensive statement i can be arrested i can be arrested i can be booked under various charges but i am an mp inside a parliament inside the parliamentary committee i say something right i will not be there is as immunity i will not be arrested as immunity prosecution prosecution cannot happen because there is a immunity which article 105 clause 2 and 194 clause 2 guarantees now question comes what question sir when an mp or mla when they speak in the parliament or when they vote in the parliament by taking money by taking bribes by taking bribes one businessman is giving me money and he is saying that um, mp guna mp you go and speak about this particular thing particular issue you go and speak that will favor the businessman in that case i am accepting bribes and i am speaking in that situation that situation whether this immunity uh, can be claimed or not that is a discussion point 1998 narsimha rao versus the state judgment supreme court said that immunity can be claimed but recently a seven member a constitutional bench a seven judge constitutional bench they came with a historical verdict saying that when the mp or mla when they accept money when they accept money and when they speak in the parliament when they vote in the parliament in such situations prosecutions can be done against the mp or mla they cannot claim immunity under 105 clause 2 or 194 clause 2 the judgment came that is why it was in news so mps mlas cannot claim any immunity from prosecution for accepting bribes to cast a vote or make a speech in the house in a particular fashion the bench unanimously overruled the older judgment right the court also clarified that the immunities under this 105 clause to 194 clause to explain right that immunities is also applicable equally in rajya sabha proceedings including the election of vice president just the clarity was thrown that these are included over rajya sabha as well as the elections of vice president